Hi, my name is Mark, and welcome to Eden's Work Ethic, a Practical Country Living. It's been a few years since I made uh, the first video on pickling cucumbers, how to harvest pickling cucumbers, and how to grow them. Uh, I'm still doing cucumbers. We've moved to a different property now, so I'm not doing the cucumbers on my deck anymore, but I'm still doing them in containers, and quite successfully, I might add. So, so we're going to take a look at the uh, pickling cucumbers that I have now. I'm growing them in containers. Uh, we have quite a few growing, and we've had actually a very good uh, crop this year of, of uh, pickling cucumbers specifically. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to give you an update on the cucumbers and just show you some of the things I've learned over the years in growing uh, pickling cucumbers and cucumbers in general. Uh, over the years, I've grown uh, different varieties, different types. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk to you about how to get ready for next year. Uh, as you can see, because now the, the season is about over. You see I'm wearing a, a light jacket because... Uh, we're here, we're at the end of August here in northern New England, and uh, it's starting to get breezy, starting to get chilly. Uh, you know, you can tell the production of the plant is starting to slow down. Still pretty good, but it's starting to slow down, definitely. Uh, and the nights are getting uh, much cooler. So we know that the, the end of the growing season here in northern New England is uh, just around the corner. So in the next video, we're going to talk about how to get ready for next season. So we're going to talk a little bit about what you know, some people call fall gardening, which is how to get the soil ready, how to get... Um, you know, put put some things in your soil so that it can break down over the winter and be ready uh, for gardening uh, when the spring comes again. Now, one thing that I've noticed over the years in doing gardening is that you know sometimes when I when I use um, some kind of compost or something the same year that I do my planting, uh, it's actually not as good as the next year following. Uh, you know, once everything in the compost is broken down into the soil, mixed well and broken down in the soil, uh, it tends to do better. I mean, that's just what I've noticed. I'm not a master gardener or anything, but I have noticed that over the years. Uh, and I've seen uh, other other um, instructor gardening instructors kind of you know talk about preparation in the fall time for the spring. And you know. So here is uh, the garden this year. Now, so it's actually really only about, um, I would say about, it's an 8 by, probably 8 by 5 uh, in size. It's not that big. We've got a few different things growing in there. we got some um, cherry tomato plants. So let me show you a little bit. So let me tell you a little bit of, of a few things that I did uh, different this year. So obviously I, I'm still doing them in containers. As you can see, I have four containers, uh, and in each container there's about uh, six vines. So there's one side with three vines, uh, one side with three vines. So like here on this one, there's three on this side and three on that side. And as you can see, it hasn't it hasn't affected the growth of the vine at all. Uh, it hasn't done anything to hinder the production of uh, healthy cucumbers. Uh, now everything we did here in this garden is is pretty much organic. You know, there was no no synthetic fertilizers uh, just Compost and you know, obviously we've, we've had good rain this year and uh, up here in the Northeast in 2021 so that that was helpful. We've had a lot of good rain and You know just well prepared soil another thing I did different uh, This year is that I use wood clippings to keep my my weeds down. It did help. It did help. Uh, you know, you can see there's a few weeds there, right there, growing, but not many. Uh, and obviously, when the vines get to a certain point where they're just like kind of creating shade underneath, the the weeds don't really do that well in that kind of environment because they need like other plants, they need sunlight, and they don't get it. So. Uh, that's one thing I did different. Uh, if you remember in the first video, I, I bought my cucumber plants. Uh, this year, all the cucumber plants are from seed, so we we didn't we didn't buy anything from the greenhouse or from the home center. Uh, we just have seeds, and we use the seeds, and and we were able to get uh, these really healthy uh, and productive plants. Like I said, you see they're they're yellowing now a bit. Uh, because we're getting towards the end of the season, but but they've been doing very well overall, uh, and we have we have quite a bit of cucumbers on them. Yeah, so I gave quite a bit away to friends, and uh, obviously we still have uh, quite a bit to go. As you can see, the plants are still doing very well. Uh, we have cucumber there, cucumber there, some on the outside of the gate, some on the inside. You can see little ones growing, little ones growing. Uh, they're kind of growing all over the place right now. Uh, 
like I said, I've had very good production this year. Um, and, uh, you know, there's probably about, I would say, at most, probably about three weeks left in the season. So still quite a bit left. Uh, but, you know, really, we're, we're winding down here. Also, I let the daisies grow right next to my cucumber plants just to kind of attract the bees. Um, the daisies are actually not growing in the containers, as uh, it might seem. They're actually growing right outside the containers uh, on the ground or growing from the ground outside of the containers. And it's actually done a really good job attracting the, the bees over for the season. Uh, now I'm going to cut just a few cucumbers here just uh, so you get an idea for what they look like. So I'm only work working with one hand, so just bear with me here. Uh, let's clear this one out here. I got my container here. Hoping to kind of just catch it. If it hits the floor, it's really not a big deal. But uh, just remember, I'll just kind of find where it meets to the vine and just clip it. And there you go. That's a nice looking cucumber. Uh, I'm going to cut this one off here. doesn't look that great. I think it stopped growing, but it's been small for a while. I'll probably just eat it, get it off the vine. We have this one, very look, very good looking one, very healthy looking one. We'll just go ahead and kind of snip that one too. And there you go. Uh, we have enough for a salad. Or I can add it to my uh, to my pickling brine and uh, let it pickle as well. Here's another one, and there you go. Very healthy, very good looking pickles. No complaints for me. Thanks for stopping by to check out our pickling cucumber update. Now, if you want to learn how to get a nice cucumber crop or any crop for next year uh, out of your containers or even or even directly into the ground, uh, check out our next video where we'll talk about how to get the soil ready now, uh, the end of this season uh, or into the fall to be ready for next spring. Uh, as I've told you before, or as I mentioned earlier in the video, I should say, uh, I've noticed that when I put uh, compost or some kind of fertilizer in the soil, you know, any amendments into the soil, I don't really see the benefits of it until next season. So this year we're going to prepare in advance. Uh, it's the end of the season now. Like I said, it, it's uh, the end of summer here in New England or, you know, the last few weeks of summer here. And we're getting into the fall. So we're going to do what's called fall gardening to prepare for next season. And please don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And until next time, this is Mark Eden. Take care and God bless you. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.